Hello and welcome to Fresh Manna Ministries and this is a Fresh Manna Moment. This is an inspirational expose on concepts of biblical principles and topical study. I am Rev. Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., one of the ministers of the Fresh Manna Ministries International. These messages are designed to bring a sense of confidence as your walk with the Lord is enhanced through the embellishment of the Word of God in Scripture. Let's prepare for another topical experience in the Word. Fresh Manna Moments. What's on your mind? Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think on these things. Philippians 4, 8. What's on your mind? And Paul was a brilliant theologian, a careful and critical thinker. He was consummate in his rhetoric. He did not fatigue in his witness for Christ. At the same time, he was a man of common sense and practical wisdom. Sometimes we become so involved in Paul's complex arguments that we lose sight of the practical advance he dispenses. Take this passage from Paul's letter to the Philippians. But let's look at it by beginning with ourselves. What's on your mind today? Paul says, think on these things. Think on things from above, not on things below. No, really, really. Stop and concentrate for just a moment. What's filling your thoughts right now? As we read through the scriptures this morning, this Philippians, what's on your mind? What's filling your thoughts right now? Are you thinking about all the responsibilities that await you as you return home, as you go to your workplace, as you're driving your car? What will tomorrow be? What's on your mind? Are you concerned about a friend and maybe even a family member? Are you hoping that the service will, will not run over time too much so that you can't catch more of the, 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 the professional sports that may be on TV or a dinner, a meal? a socialization, what's on your mind? Are you still mulling over that that picture, that movie that, that just came out, something on television that you, you're checking the time just to see if you'll be able to catch it from the beginning? What's on your mind? You're having company uh, for Sunday dinner, have you made all the preparations and, and uh, attended to all the details? What's on your mind today? And Paul would say yes to all these things. These are genuine concerns, but Paul would also quickly counsel that we spend far too much time thinking about and worrying about these temporal things. 
these things that, that are transient, they come and they go. Concerns that need not to be dwelled upon. He would warn that worry, worry about these things that, that, that we focus on. The superficial details of life can, can blind us to the very uh, presence of God who is right in our midst. What's on your mind? I ask you to try thinking instead about this passage of Scripture. Paul suggests about the ultimate truth of God's promises, the reality of God's justice and righteousness, the blessings God has showered upon us because we will become and we are what we think about most often. Focusing intentionally on the things of God will bring us closer to God and more in tune with God's will for our lives. Again, what's on your mind? Think about these things. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think on, think about these things. Well, I look forward to sharing with you the next time on Fresh Manna Moments. I encourage you to stay in the Word because there is no other place to reside. Remember the blessings of Numbers 624 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace until we meet again. This is Reverend Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., Fresh Manor Ministries, Fresh Manor Moments. Shalom.